not united. Uh, we are going to analyze that uh, better. But let's continue with Mr. Uh, Patrick. Uh, taking it from the geopolitical perspective, uh, Mr. Uh, Patrick Popel, it is imperative uh, that, uh, and it is also good uh, that African leaders or stakeholders, be it political and even economic stakeholders across Africa, have become conversant uh, with the fact uh, that. Uh, uh, there is, it is time for Africa uh, to be intentional or leaders to be intentional about what they want for uh, the continent. And we are focusing on uh, this very aspect of the raw material, which presents uh, a better opportunity for Africa. And uh, with the changing trends, we also uh, see that the scope is actually very broad for Africa uh, to take advantage of and uh, uh, fasten uh, this, uh, its uh, strong policies, especially uh, foreign policies uh, that will help the continent attain uh, this level uh, from uh, uh, taking it from of a uh, dependency, uh, especially on uh, commodity uh, products. So what uh, the question I would like you to respond to Mr. Patrick is how we can uh, actually see how African government and international organizations can work together to facilitate uh, the uh, necessary infrastructure and investment for Africa to become a producer. You know, we are in a globalized world and we are uh, in, a, in a world that has seen uh, much interconnectivity. So now how can uh, African government and uh, maybe the organizations, can we talk about BRICS? Can we talk about even individual nations that are engaging more with Africa? How can they actually uh, uh, correlate in a way that it will help Africa to attain uh, uh, this milestone of being a producer of valuable goods? It's, it's very good that you talk about BRICS because uh, BRICS is now the geopolitical game changer. Um, we have now the, the situation that uh, uh, the continents are working together. So uh, years before, um, the problems of continents was on the inside of this continent. But now we are in this globalist world. But this um, globalist world has also this little essence of multipolarity now and so um, we can see it's growing up and so with this BRICS uh, alliance we have uh, a very interesting um, situation so we have the situation that uh, China can invest in Africa or maybe uh, they're talking about also the monetary system so everything is changing. But um, I like to say important is what also my colleague said uh, about the situation inside the African countries. We have that many corruption and many of these people on the top of the countries are not more than the dogs of the West, the, the hounds of the West. So uh, we have this uh, colonialism now also, not political, but in, uh, but in, uh, in economic questions. We have this uh, a system like 150 years before, or many, many of the countries has this history since the last century. So I think the problem is we need strong leaders. Yes, it's important. We need this international connection. And here is BRICS, I said, the game changer. Mm -hmm. And we need also a close contact to the uh, civil society and to the businessmen, to the, uh, also to the Western businessmen, mm -hmm. and they can also help. I have many experience about people's diplomacy when I'm working also for the interests of Russia or from other states to, to connecting the people, to connecting the different groups and organizations. And I think it is very important for Africa, for the different countries, but also for the whole Africa, there must be a network, there must be created a network for this people diplomacy. It's very important to get investments from the West or to get also technology, to get different uh, support or joint ventures to organize it. Very important. So 
I think uh, I'm living in Vienna. And uh, we have in, in Vienna, we have the embassy for, from every African state, because Vienna is an international city. We have the UN, the OECD, we have many different uh, organizations, international organizations. So we have an embassy from every African state. But they are not well connected in the Austrian society. They, all, they only have meetings in the UN or different uh, bilateral uh, meetings with other states, but not with, with the community here. I think there are many different companies that like to make something in Africa, and Africa needs the support. Yes, they have good university, they have the resource, they have these maybe leaders, they're not very strong, but we can see what the president of Southern Africa said in the conference. It was a very good speech. So we can see. It's very different. Africa is very different. We have different countries. They're very on the corruption and under the under the fingers of the West. So like the marionettes, so, but like the puppets of the West. But we have also uh, states like Niger, Burkina Faso, and so on, and also uh, South Africa. So um, we have a very different situation in every state there, but they must think on one topic together. This is the independence, the sovereignty, and to create this new system or this new aspect, to see this new aspect, to go from a seller of your materials to a producer. This is very important. And I like to say about my special topic, security, um, yes, in, uh, in the Arabic countries um, and in this um, Arabic Spring in Afghanistan, in Iraq, Iraq. You can see what's happened there, Syria. Yeah? So, and I said on the beginning about the necessary of um, a structure of security for the African continent, because the global players are very strong, and there are many little, very small countries in Africa. And they need to make also a defense alliance or something else. Without this, you couldn't go these next steps. So the need, only one, one little um, um, explanation about this. You need, if you have good resources, many resources, you need a very good air defense. Without a good air defense, you couldn't go to the West, maybe to the USA and say, no, we have no new ideas about our economy. So we, we will be bombed. It's the reality. So we need different structures for Africa, the structure for people diplomacy to make new contacts to companies, to, to different other countries, but also to organizations. Um, and Africa needs, let's say, it, air. Uh, defense, but also other uh, areas of security must be uh, grow up because you need this security when you are here on this international level. And Africa is very important. The resources of Africa are very important for the Western economies, and they uh, they don't choke. It's important to know. Let me stay with you, Mr. Patrick, of course, talking about the resources.